Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Michael Warner and I'm a trained storm spotter from the National Weather Service office in Huntsville, Alabama. And once again, I wanna emphasize or share with you all, this is not a storm spotters class. This is only a um, little bit of a presentation as to basic terms. Um, storm spotter classes are available from your local NWS office and uh, which I will share you the website here in just a minute. Okay, so why don't we touch on watches and warnings? What does a tornado watch mean? Well, the tornado watch means that conditions are favorable for the development of tornadoes in and close to the watch area. Tornado warning means that a tornado has been indicated by radar or um, or signed by or sighted by a storm spotter. Severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for the development of severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. Severe thunderstorm warning is issued when a uh, thunderstorm produces a hail um, one inch or large uh, in dimension and diameter and or winds which uh, usually exceed about 58 miles per hour. Weather radios. Should you get one? Yes. Where can I get one? Well, most places such as Lowe's or Walmart, any of those places um, have a weather radio. How much do they cost? Eh, they range around $30 to $25, depending on where you get them. Um, are they easy to program? Yes, absolutely. Weather radios are easy to program. Uh, know the signs of a tornado. So what should we look for? Um, strong uh, press processing rotation uh, in the cloud base. Um, Basically, you need to look for that rotating, rotating cloud base, um, a, uh, a roaring dust or uh, um, kind of like a green type roar or a roar like a train sound. Um, some tornadoes don't even produce a funnel, so be aware of that. Um, hail and heavy rain um, can also uh, be a, it could be a dead calm or really fast, uh, you know, increase of winds, wind shift. Uh, many tornadoes um, are wrapped um, or uh, heavy rain wrapped um, and you can't see them. So um, that's the main thing. A loud roar, um, kind of like a, just a very loud roar you can hear um, is something that you need to look for. Um, a small, bright, um, blue-green uh, kind of shaped cloud or whatever um, that kind of flashes uh, um, ground level near your area, and that kind of can be a big deal. Um, I actually saw something like that during April 27th when you, uh, you would look over and you would see this big green thing and you, you instantly would look at it. Um, but that's kind of the general general inquiry about that. Uh, tornado safety rules. Um, number one, be in a room that's in a small, uh, in houses and uh, small buildings. Uh, um, do um, go to the uh, interior most part of the lowest floor levels so you don't want to be in the upper level go to the lower floor of your uh, of your home uh, stay away from windows and outside walls as much as you possibly can um, and make sure that you have um, you know that you have areas that you can go to um, um, such as a bathroom or a good uh, places to go like a closet or whatever. Um, three, do not uh, have uh, um, time to get uh, to the lowest floor. 
um, find something to uh, sturdy like uh, like a bed because uh, beds are usually sturdy. Um, in school, follow the instructions of your teacher because um, they will tell you what to do. Um, Abandon a moment, a mobile home or a car, because those things can be like toys and just crushed instantly. And finally, avoid buildings um, and uh, avoid bridges and overpasses. Sorry about that um, for shelter, because those things are uh, are no longer they they go underground. Really, um, number of uh, and injuries can be greater when you're under an overpass. So you need to really uh, be careful of that. Okay, uh, shelter rooms. Should I buy a safe room? Absolutely. Are they worth the money? Yes, I, I would definitely get a safe room because those are worth the money instantly. Um, tornado uh, survival facts. Um, the, the duration of the pressure of that uh, tornado warning, you want to make sure that you uh, leave the windows um, alone and you and during that uh, you know because they will open themselves automatically during a tornado. so don't even touch the, um, the windows during that period of time. Um, number two, uh, the southwest corner uh, basement um, is not safe a uh, place to go to um, during a tornado. Uh, it's actually one of the worst places to go. Um, usually the uh, south or southwest area um, kind of acts as one of those buffers there. Um, you are safer um, outside your uh, your mobile, um, your mobile automobile, or uh, inside there, um, find a, you know, basically find the um, find the lowest the lowest floor of your uh, home. That's a key fact with this. So, what are we looking at when we talk about the scale? And I'm really not going to go too much into this because I don't want to be too technical for those people. Um, but this is the chart that shows what the different um, tornado parameters are. The big fat tornado. Um, this is a picture of what a tornado looks like. And basically, it tells you that the ones that are big and fat are the EF4, EF5s, and they can cause um, damage really, really quickly um, compared to a uh, EF0, EF1. Tornado forecasting. Once, did you know that tornado forecasting was banned in the US? Yep, absolutely. Before the 1950s, use of the word tornadoes in a forecast at times was forbidden because of the rare um, production of, um, of tornadoes um, may cause uh, panic. So they, they actually, uh, um, in 1950, um, the Weather Bureau revoked uh, the ban on uh, the the meaning of that word or the mentioning of that word of tornadoes um, in the forecast. Be prepared and make a plan. You notice anything different about these two pictures? You don't want to be like this. You don't want to be like this, these people and these objects, this guy and these objects, you know, just flying all over the place. You don't want to be like this because it will hurt your head and all that. Be prepared and make a plan. It could always help. Always plan ahead. Do like this picture here, where you're basically in an area that's lowest floor and 
be ready for anything. Contact information. Here is the number for the NWS office in Huntsville. Give you a minute so you can write that down. And you can also visit visit their website too at um, srh.noaa.gov forward slash hun. Let you read that. Special thanks to uh, our partners, uh, the Amateur Radio Alert Emergency Service, Aries, my emergency coordinator and team in Madison County, Aries, uh, would like to thank them, and the National Weather Service Office in Huntsville, Alabama. Thank you so much. Once again, thank you all for coming, and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below. Thank you.